Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Dying Light. This is the side quest, Bandages and Meds. So we are in the same warehouse we were in for Firebug. Which is the middle warehouse. I think I showed here. Yeah, bring up a map real quick. Here it is, it's this warehouse right here, kind of in the middle of the three warehouses there. Just northwest of the tower. We are in this little side room. If you don't remember how to get to it... Uh, you just climb up on the roof, use the scaffolding, and there, there'll be a certain hole you can jump down. So we're way off in the side, kind of in a separated area. So make sure you have the objective selected. The bandages and meds quest should be highlighted. Otherwise, you'll never find syringes or painkillers. The gauze, you'll find everywhere. But syringes and painkillers, you have to have the objective highlighted. And then just start searching. Every one of these first aid kits are going to have at least a syringe or a painkiller. As for the gods, you should have plenty of that that's just found. Yeah, it's everywhere. Alright, so just run straight up and down this area here. There's like four or five first aid kits. There you go. Alright, and if you still got some syringes and painkillers left to grab, which I have one of each, I need to, I still need to find, you can head right back out into the main area of this uh, hangar warehouse. I don't know what this is. I don't know what to call it. It, Whatever, the train thing. So you just look out here, and on the eastern wall opposite of all these large metal doors. There will be a few more of the uh, first aid kits on the wall. Here we go, that's syringes. This last one will have painkillers. Yay, there we go. All right, so we're all done. When you're ready, just head to the tower and drop it off with uh, Lena, I believe. Or no, Toygar. Toy, for some reason, Toygar wants them. All right. People love bandages. At least the ones who need them do. Other people don't really care so much. But the guy who lives across the hall from me just shut off his thumb. So he's really gonna appreciate this stuff. Say, you didn't see any loose thumbs out there, did you? When he shut it off, it kind of flew out the window. It would look like a chicken nugget with a bullet hole. No? Well, keep your eyes open. I love that guy. So there you go. That's bandages and meds. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.